out of the bad, there always comes some good. And one of the good things that has come out of all this COVID mess we've all been dealing with all these months is we now have virtual Taproot Essentials training. And this guy right here, <laughs> Alex Paradise, has done a awful lot of work along with Ken Reed, Marcus Miller, and Tim Diggs on putting together, taking our Essentials course and transforming it into this very interactive, uh, very engaging virtual training. How was it to do that, Alex? <laughs> It'd uh, be a lot of work. A lot of work, a lot of work. Um, really kind of when you look at our course, we wanted to set out and say, you know, we had a lot of clients coming to us that they, they really wanted to continue getting training in the year. Um, but at the time, at the beginning of 2020, we had a pretty strong stance that we weren't a fan of virtual training. Right. And we had a couple reasons for that. The, the foremost was we didn't have an effective way or didn't feel that there was a really an effective platform and way to communicate and get engagement um, with students. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once the, the, the quarantine hit and everybody started locking down, um, while we were developing other training platforms and other, other packages, we started looking and saying, well, okay, we need to tackle this like it's an actual problem. What's the actual things that are holding us back um, and how can we tackle and solve those issues? And what we found is um, the most important thing with a virtual training is the same thing you get in in-person training. It's the connection and, and interaction between an instructor and the students. Mm -hmm. So we needed to evaluate platforms and make sure that they could facilitate what we needed. We needed to make sure that we retooled all of our um, training to match up with what you can do and the advantages you have in an online platform. So we really focused on how do we make things highly interactive with students and engage every in student and also do things like limit class size. Mm -hmm. We had to limit the class size down so that it could fit on um, the platforms that were available at the time as well as was more manageable for instructors mm -hmm. because we wanted to do a lot more one-on-one -on -one interactions and engagements, but you can't do that when there's 30 people in the class. Right. You can't get to every person in the class for questions and, and engagement. So what we did is we did some limiting for class sizes. We worked to um, you know, have everybody engaged, listening, and have different techniques that we use for um, engaging students. And that was kind of our, our goal is how do we make, um, you know, investigation training um, something worth sitting and mm -hmm. watching for a while. Well, because it's so important. I mean, people's lives are at stake. These people go out and they try to solve problems to help people, people stay safe, reduce downtime, all of those things improve quality. This is such important training is something you don't want to be slack on. Yeah. And one good thing, though, I mean, while he said we limited the size of the class, it's still the, the size of our one instructor course. Yep. So we can do up to 16 in these. Yep. And, and a, one of the other things that's a little different than, you know, we normally do the two-day essentials course. Mm -hmm. Well, this one, we actually spread it out over three days because we realized, you know, some things just take longer online. Sure. If you want to do a group exercise, and we have several group exercises mm -hmm. where people break out into rooms and they work on um, different little ex live exercises with problems. Um, when you do that, it just takes longer online. Sure. People have to organize into groups and just it's a little bit slower of a process. So what we did is we added more content. Mm -hmm. We added more um, engagement activities, quizzes, games, things like that. Those are great. I remember doing the trial <laughs> test yep. on those, and those were really were fantastic. Yep. And so, so we added in more of these features, um, and in order to gain engagement and gain participation, um, but we extended the course as well. So there's actually even sections that you don't have in the two day that mm -hmm. you get in the three day because we've got a little more time. So we yeah. do it over three days, and the classes aren't full eight hour days. Um, we do six hours of training and then there's an hour at the end where students work on their final project for each day. Mm -hmm. And then the final day is generally around six hours for the last day. And that's mostly working on your final project um, and putting everything together. And a few little differences, um, like it, it is, we don't do the uh, stickies, obviously. <laughs> uh, you're going to use software in this training. If you're a company that hasn't been using our software, you will use it in here. You don't have to have the software to do um, virtual training, but it will be used. Uh, we will provide access to you uh, for that. So you'll get some good experience with it in the course. And I love that, you know, we do require people to have their webcams on. So we see all the faces. We know what you're doing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we 
we, so people are, and I remember when we did the test thing, you know, it's easy to kind of, you know, some people worry when I've talked to them about, well, it's easy to get distracted. You're over here doing your emails or something like that. No, you're not because they're going to ask you questions. You're going to be on the alert. <laughs> we, we do a lot. We do a lot. And one of the things, you know, as an instructor, we our, our room setup, we did things to, we do it in this, you know, our nice mm-hmm. taproot studio here. And it, the way we have it set up, we ha- we think about how do we have, where do we have the students, where do we have the information, where we as instructors are looking, are we making eye contact with the students, um, and are we engaging people? We're also measuring their engagement. Um, early on, we were actually doing specific activities to encourage engagement and track that. Mm-hmm. So we used to track it to see what effect these things had on people. So we did a lot to kind of measure what we were doing and was it effective. Yeah. And you've gotten some good results for your uh, feedback from the clients. Yeah. And, and, you know, when we talked about this, we said, okay, we want to not just develop a product, not just develop training and present it. We don't just want to do PowerPoint online. We want to engage, but we also want to know, are we effective or not? So we added in additional um, follow-ups with our Mm -hmm. courses and our students. We were at the beginning of it. We were doing two hour reviews of the materials Mm -hmm. we were doing. Um, audits of investigations and we were doing one-on-ones with all the students Mm -hmm. so we were able to see kind of their evaluations and process and what we found was the students were getting really good results they understood the process which Mm -hmm. was what was most important to us is that they understood and were following the process um, and that they were you know engaged and felt like they had a good understanding but they had lots of questions still Mm -hmm. Um, so what we did is we realized, you know, the most effective things we found was the one-on-ones with students. So with this virtual platform, we also are offering um, 30-minute one-on-ones with an instructor, with a Taproot expert uh, for every student that attends. Yes. Which is also something that's different than when you go to a two-day mm-hmm. or a five-day. Um, you can still get the access to instructors after the course, sure. obviously, with those. But this one, we are going to reach out. You're going to be able to schedule time, and it's expected. Mm-hmm. So, I really like that because it also, there's a little bit of space in between when they've taken the class and then when you have that one-on-one. So they've had a, t- a little time to dabble in it a little bit and figure out maybe where they have questions that maybe they didn't know they had. Yeah, fortunately for a lot of our clients, you know, they don't they don't investigate mm-hmm. incidents every week. Thank goodness. Uh, thank yes. goodness for those. Some do, but uh, most don't. So what we are uh, what we offer, and these are good opportunities, I mean, I've had conversations with students about okay, I'm going to be applying Taproot in an auditing format. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't cover that in the two day, but I know you guys do it because you mentioned it to Mm -hmm. us. Can you walk me through how to do that? Well, I've done that with 30 minutes with a student. I've done um, active investigations and coaching as they they had their their snap chart and the root cause. What do you see? Mm -hmm. Where else would I go? We do that's pretty common. That's great. Um, we've had some that are that are looking for advice on, hey, well, I understand this. I've done an investigation, but now I've got to report it out. Mm-hmm. Can you help me kind of look at the report out I'm going to be doing and give us advice on that? So we give, you know, we're so able it's to customize. It's all it, it really is. It's to what the student really needs for information from us at the time, and that really works out well for when they have questions and, and it fits in with where they're at. And that follow up is set by the student, not by yeah. us. So it works on their timetable and when they need help. I think it's fantastic and it really is going very well. We've done a number of these at this point and we're getting requests every day. Um, People are just coming in right and left asking for these. If you would like to have more information on how to put on a virtual course at your company, um, one of the things it's really good for, if you have people out at different sites and you can have them all together in the same course and nobody's traveling. Um, So, (laughs) well, we've had people that would request they wanted to go to a public course or that we didn't have one right now and they were one person. Well, super easy to go. Well, if you can find a few other people and they could reach out to other sites. And next thing you know, they have a team that we can do a virtual we, course for. We had we had one course where we had just we had a person from every continent mm-hmm. except for Antarctica. We didn't they didn't, didn't have Antarctica <laughs> on that one, but they had every other continent on on the on the map in one course. The hardest part is just the logistics of picking a time for time the students. Zone. Yeah. And and you know our instructors are are global and we're willing to mm-hmm. shift our schedule to meet your needs. I've been doing I've done one at three a.m. I've done you know, in the afternoons. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's about fitting your schedule, your needs with your people. So it makes some additional flexibility that might not have been there before. 
So that's really something to think about. Um, to get more information, you just contact us at info at taproot.com and they will send that email to one of us and we'll reach out to you and talk to you about what your needs are and help you get this set up and answer any questions that you have, get you cost estimates on what it takes to do this. Um, and it's just, I, I'm excited. I think that this has really opened an, a nice, really new door. Um, we've got all kinds of other webinars too out there right now that we didn't have before either. Mm -hmm. And those, we've got some free and some paid. You can go to our website, taproot.com and go to the store and click webinars and they're right there and you can just register right there online. Well, Alex, thank you so much. I know thank you've you. worked so hard and I mean, it's obviously turned out very well and so well received. So we appreciate all the work that you and the rest of the team have done on this. Thanks everybody for joining us. We want you to please hit the notification bell or the doobly-doo as Please. Alex likes to call it. <laughs> and so you know when we're going to have videos, subscribe to our channel and follow us on all of our social media platforms. We really appreciate you for joining us and we'll see you back here next week.